Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I am Cammie and today's video is going to be a Q&A. So if you guys are new to my channel, I hope that you will consider hitting the subscribe button down below as well as hitting the notification bell and all of that good stuff. Um, so if you guys are new, I did go ahead and ask on my Instagram and on my TikTok for you guys to ask me questions and I will link them both below and put the names like right here. Um, but yeah, so we are just going to be going through some of the questions from both Instagram and TikTok. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first question I'm going to answer is how has this pregnancy been compared to your first one? So if you guys watch my pregnancy updates, I have talked about it a little bit. <clears throat> um, so I am having opposite genders. If you guys are new, I do have a three-year-old son. And for this pregnancy, I am having a baby girl. Um, so it's been a little different. I've just had different symptoms. Um, I'm feeling her move a lot more. I started showing early, but that's just because it's just my second pregnancy. Um, I had morning sickness this time, which I didn't last time. This time, it's obviously a lot harder just because I do have a toddler to take care of on top of that. With Parker, I didn't have to take care of anyone. I wasn't having to chase a toddler around. Um, we are potty training right now and doing all of that stuff, so that is added on to, you know, being pregnant um and I'm already exhausted most of the time so adding a toddler on top of being pregnant is just even more exhausting but it's something I obviously wouldn't change I love it it's just funny um that I feel her move a lot more and it's an opposite gender thing for me and like I had morning sickness and I didn't with Parker um I think those kind of things are funny but it hasn't been like too crazy or anything um do you want more kids after Ari I probably don't um I when I had Parker I imagined only having one kid um pretty much my whole life and I had Parker and I, I mean after that I was like okay like I want another kid I want him to have a sibling I don't think I want more than two kids though um if you could move anywhere in the world would you want to I mean that Depends on if we have money, if we need a job, you know, all those sorts of things. I don't know where we want to live in the future. I know we do not want to live in Panama City the rest of our life. Um, but, you know, who knows. Okay, so favorite thing Parker does while you are pregnant, does he talk with his baby sister or do anything? Um, I don't really think that he gets <laughs> that there is a baby um coming i know we tell him like i say where's baby sister and he says baby sister's in mommy's belly and i say what's her name and we do ari and then um i have him like give my belly kisses and say that his name is parker and that we are um or that you know he's a big brother and can't wait to meet her and all that kind of stuff but i don't think he like truly understands i think it's gonna be a lot of an adjustment whenever she comes here just because he is a very clingy boy like in the mornings now he wants to lay down with mama in bed and we like, snuggle and all of that he has just always been a very very clingy child um so that's why we i took him into like daycare whenever i go to the gym sorry about that but uh so he gets a little like not me time whenever he's at the gym like uh, there's somebody else watching him and he gets to interact with kids and all that sort of thing um but I definitely think it's going to be quite hard whenever he, when she comes. Just like, because if I ever go over to like snuggle with my husband or something, he has to come over and like snuggle with us. Um, he's just a clingy boy. And I mean, we'll see. I like that whenever I say where is baby sister that he knows and she's in mommy's tell tummy. But then sometimes she, he also like lifts up his shirt and, and like all of that. So I don't know. Um... If Parker wanted, would you get him a pet? Um, so if you guys don't know, we do have a cat and a dog. We got a kitty cat while he was, I think he was two. Um, we've had the cat for, I think, a year now. But um, he was with us through the whole process. We went to the animal shelter. And then we went to, like, PetSmart or whatever and got stuff for the cat. And we got him as a baby. Um, so he was a part of all of that. Um, and 
yeah and we also have a boston terrier dog so i already have two pets um are you ready to be a mama to a toddler and a newborn i'm ready but i'm also like really nervous uh, just about it just because i know it's gonna be a struggle <laughs> A lot of a lot of no sleep no sleep days and I'm already a cranky person um, somebody was asking about how much we make and how do we have nice things nice things um, as like I'm a because we're young I'm you know I'm not young anymore when I had Parker I was considered young um, we had moved in with my dad uh, while I was pregnant to in order to save money and all that when I had Parker and then a year later we were able to get a house. My husband is the one that works for us. I stay home with Parker. Um, I don't really make any money through YouTube. I like literally barely make anything. Um, I've started making money on TikTok. Um, but who knows if TikTok's even going to be a thing anymore. Um, so it's really just all on my husband. We don't have a very big house. Um, we have like a thousand square foot house. It's a three bedroom house but it's you know it's very small. Um, he is a veteran, so we get, like, veterans, um, stuff because he's disabled. Um, and that's, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, but it's, it's basically all because of my husband. I am a very lucky person that I am able to stay home with Parker and spend my time with him. But we don't have, like, a bunch of, you know, nice fancy things. We don't have a big house. We don't have, you know, luxury vehicles or anything like that. And then somebody asked, when are we due? So I am due on January 23rd. Um, and also, how did you grow your YouTube channel? So I definitely haven't grown it very much. I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers, which is awesome for me. Um, I did have a previous channel, and it had gotten taken down for breastfeeding, and I had that for over a year. Um, but I, ha I got it back now, and it's, like, linked in somewhere on my channel. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I didn't have a lot of subscribers on that one, and I only have, you know, almost 4,000 on this. I feel like it's a little easier to grow on TikTok rather than YouTube. Um, but yeah, I mean, you just, you can't be in it for money, and you can't be in it for subscribers for YouTube. You have to truly just be in it to, you know, just want to have these moments in your life. Like, that's what was really so upsetting whenever I lost the other channel was because it had a year of my son growing up on it. It was devastating to lose those memories and it's really just a like a memory thing things to look back on things to show parker when he's older and baby girl when she's older and all that kind of stuff um how did you decide on the spelling of baby girl's name so we chose ari and it's spelled a h r i um and we just wanted something different um parker was a pretty not really unique name at the time my husband thought it was gonna be a unique name but now it turns out like everywhere we go there's always a parker um, and my name is Cambria and his name is Jameson. So we kind of have a little bit of like different name type situations and he liked Ari and um, we just wanted to, you know, spell it different and I don't think many people spell it that way at all. Um, so I, we did not have a boy's name picked out. We, uh, I mean, we found out that I was having a girl I can't remember how many weeks, like 13 or 14 weeks from the blood test. Um, and then I just wanted to wait till I got like an ultrasound and all that to like buy the things for her. Um, so we didn't have a girl or a boy name picked out. We didn't have a girl name picked out. It took us, you know, till after um, pretty recently to like come up with the girl name. Um, do you have any mama friends? No, <laughs> I'm a very lonely person, um, honestly. No, I mean, we had Hurricane Michael here two years ago, I think two years ago, 2018, um, and people, like, moved away and stuff. My best friend moved away. He became a mom. I, I mean, nobody around me was having babies or doing any of that, so, no. <laughs> All my, my mama friends are online friends. Um... So, somebody had asked about Parker's development, and we are, you know, potty training right now. He's getting it. He's wearing his big boy undies. He has been for at least a week now. Um, he doesn't still like to go number two in the potty, but it's definitely an improvement. And um, he's getting better at telling us things that he wants and all of that. Can't really have, like, 
too in depth of a conversation yet but i did order some like kind of like speech therapy type of cards to work on him with them but what is your favorite color i'm bad tell it what is your favorite number my number what can you count to 20 yeah one okay. two three four five ten ten eight nine ten Oh, you gotta keep going. You only count to ten. What comes after ten? Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Maybe forty. Maybe thirty. 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 Ninety. Twelve. Um, what is it? My name is mommy. What is it? What is it? Mama. Mama. What is my name? My name is mama. Can you sing your ABCs? A B C A A B C D D E T A. Oh, that the whole. What was the hardest part of flooding in your area? So we've had, you know, Hurricane Michael here, and things got destroyed, and there was a lot of flooding, obviously, because we had a hurricane, and then they didn't really do too much about it. Like they dug like kind of little ditches in front of our houses here but it's not really helping um the hardest part about flooding is just because you can't go out and whenever you're under like a flood watch they're like stay home um so you can't really go anywhere and you just have to stay in your house you have to you know be prepared ahead of time for that sort of thing um i am nervous about transitioning to two children but i'm excited to be a family of four i feel like four is just a good number of people to have Okay, so somebody had asked about our, like, TTC experience. I have a whole Ow. playlist he decided to join um, on that. We tried for about six months, and we didn't really do anything too crazy. I just tracked ovulation. Um, yeah. I did. Um, so, my birthday is April 22nd, and people wanted to know Parker's birthday, and his birthday is August 3rd, 2017. Birthday, birthday yep. Yeah. Papa's birthday. Yeah, yeah. Papa's birthday was the other day, and a lot of them are like, "How old is my son? He is three. He was born in 2017." Um, one of them asks, "How did you manage to get some alone time with kids?" Happy birthday! And I don't. I mean, I'm with him all the time. I'm with him all the time. Um, and then when my husband gets home, I cook dinner and we sit on the couch. Um, the only time we get alone time or try to get alone time is basically if Parker's asleep or if um, pretty much we only do stuff. So yeah, the, basically the only time we get alone time is like for anniversaries or something. My dad will watch Parker. Um, a lot of, is your son excited for the baby? Are you excited for baby sister? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, somebody asked about how many years apart, and we started trying when Parker was two and a half because that's where I felt comfortable um, having another, like, baby. I felt like having a three-year age gap-ish was, like, a good age gap. Okay, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this q and I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you guys in our next video. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.